see her go. Where'd she run? Where'd she run? It's a fight, it's a fight. You see them watching all the wind blow into a quiet boy like me. Well, it's a world of people in the My name is Boogie Dell, and uh, I run a record store in Wembley. Remember uh, last summer, 78, we had a trip down to Margate. I think it was uh, three coaches, um, Ted's, Rebels, and uh, all the general sort of Herberts. Uh, two or three trips a year. I think the one before that was Brighton and the one before that was South Sea. All very successful. Basically, they all go down, uh, go in the fun fairs, uh, take music down with them, cassettes and things like this, you know, bopping on the beach. A lot of unmentionable things on the coach going down, but uh, when they get there, normally they just they head straight for the pubs, you know, or... Um, you know, throwing people in the sea, you know, the usual sort of thing. So they just suddenly come on in the past sort of year, you know, this uh, rebel idea that used to be just Teddy Boys and Rockers. Never used to be Rockabilly Rebels or any of this, you know. Rockabilly um, came from the south, southern states of America. And so they just distinguished the southern sound with the uh, Confederate flag. <laughs> In the in the rock and roll scene, you get a lot of uh, children do follow their parents because they love rock and roll. It's really amazing because you always hear about the fact that children like to rebel against their parents, but in the rock and roll thing, it's just so different, and like, it's so nice as well because it means that there's a real bond of unity, and it seems strange in a way that the the unity that brings parents and children together should be a style of music. Rock and roll isn't just the love of the music or the clothes or the style of dancing. It's a whole attitude to life. You better beware and you better take care when we hit the town tonight. Kick away the blues, no time to lose, honey, we can make it right. Pretty little thing, now your heart will sing, fill it up with pure delight. And the super charge from the gas garage, it's below like dynamite.
music, the wonderful world of rock and roll. And rock and roll really does have its dedicated fans. Take, for instance, this bunch of guys. Martin, Rockin' Roy, Dixie, Boppin' Brian, Crew Cut Colin, and all the rockabilly rebels who follow Matchbox around wherever they go. The least we can do is to play those guys a record. So, a Matchbox record it is from their hit album of the same name, Matchbox. This is Poor Boy. <laughs> Thing because a lot of people ask me where rockabilly came from and it's quite an old music it kicked off in the early 50s with uh, the roots of hank williams in fact if hank williams had even lived a bit longer it might have started that much earlier but of course elvis by 1954 kicked the whole thing off and then it erupted for about 18 months as a commercial proposition and then the rock and roll took it into its mainstream and it sort of dissolved a, a, ooh, for about 15 years or so it dissolved and then along came these British bands with a view to recreating, if you like, the original Sun Sound. And it was a mere springboard to uh, new songs coming along. Steve Bloomfield of Matchbox was writing great stuff and using the old style sun slapping bass and so on. And it became a new proposition entirely. And by 1980, we're into an era of a, a second generation of rockabilly fans, if you like. Wish I had a picture of that look on your face. rockabilly in 1980 well really we've gone through the whole pattern of eras we've gone through heavy metal acid rock we've gone through glitter rock and all the things that evolved in the 70s so much that things got stale and it was inevitable i suppose that uh, we would go back to the roots and find that lovely rawness that uh, is such a broadness that everybody can enjoy and uh, of course with rockabilly you haven't just got a great music with a boffin beat you've got all the factions that go with it the clothes the hairstyles the image it's all part and parcel of it and the average guy in the street no matter how old he is can get involved and instantly create himself an identity therefore all of a sudden you get last year's punks and so on getting interested in rockabilly all of a sudden and skinheads and who knows what because the music has got such a broad base and everybody can enjoy it I'm not I'm not
Buzz, 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 buzz